Hey guys, thanks for clicking this video. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, remember to click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, and if you really want to support me, then consider being a Luxe channel supporter for $4.99 a month. You'll get loyalty badges next to your name, you'll get custom emojis, you'll get rough cuts and bloopers, you'll get discounted merchandise, connect with you on social media, and also you get your name mentioned at the start of each video, like this. Call Darren. I think I've broken down. The truck's making a really weird noise. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. How you doing? As you can see, it's a bit dark out. We're, uh, we're just starting work. It's a big machine, look at it. That is big. Yeah, we're just starting work. We're just walking over to the truck now where we can uh, do some daily checks. Uh, first thing today we've got to do is go to Evesham. Uh, we are already loaded, so we've got to get unloaded in Evesham. Then we've got to go down to Avermouth, get loaded with pallets, and then take that down to Portsmouth, and then that's it. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to go and uh, start the truck up, wake up, and I'll see you in a bit. Morning, everybody. I know I've already said morning, but uh, hello. How are we doing? All right. Um, we are in Evesham. Uh, we're about a mile or so away from uh, where we leave, where we where we need to be. Um, yeah, we're gonna get this offloaded. We, we're fully loaded with, uh, with like rice, and we're delivering to Canes something or other in Evesham. And from what I can tell, they they sort of cook and prepare ready-made meals might smell really nice there i don't know so yeah we i think we've got a load of rice on uh one of the one of the pallets definitely said rice so i, I think it's a whole load of rice i'm not sure or maybe powder curry powder and stuff so that's what we're delivering um we are like i said we're just around the corner we should have delivered no no we shouldn't have delivered yesterday it's delivering for today but we was going to park up around the corner but uh i got sent home uh sort of last minute last night because um, it's already paying me a night out or, or pay fuel to get back. So I think they, I, I was happy to do a night out, but they, uh, they, they sent me back. So happy days, got to sleep, got to sleep in my own bed last night, which is all good. But um, yeah, we're gonna go around here. I might try and get my camera set up on the wing mirror, because apparently I've got to do like a reversing maneuver. And uh, it would be, would be cool to, to have some different camera angles, I think. Let's go past Mr. Co-op. Although it's not actually Mr. Co-op. <laughs> Let's go past him. Uh, yes, as you can see, I've had a bit of a shave. I've had a bit of a haircut. So, you know, 10 years have have been knocked off on me, apparently, according to comments that I've had on social media. Apparently I look 10 years younger. I don't know. I, I don't know, I disagree. <laughs> Round here. Let's go. I just made a wrong turn. Just before I had the cameras on, I just made a wrong turn. I should have turned left. I accidentally went straight on, so I had to turn around, come back, and then turn right, which was a bit of a pain, but never mind. Is it all clear around here? Yes, it is. Excellent. And it should be the building up behind those trees. Just got to take a left hand turn. It's coming up. Right, 
going to start indicating because it should be on the left here. Yeah, here it is. Take a nice wide turn. Kane's food. Let's see what Mr. Security Man has to say. No HTV accents. Between the times. Six o'clock, I think I'm right. Morning, mate, you alright? Yes, mate, delivering. There we go, mate. Well, do you know where you're going? Uh, someone said I've got to go left down the building, turn right, and then reverse back in between the two buildings. That's it. Brilliant. Thank See you very much. No Cheers, problem. bud. Oh, yeah. yeah, so where I thought I had to go is exactly where I've got to go, so that's good. days but I want to put a, uh, a camera on uh, on the wing mirror so bear with <coughs> okay we have a camera on the wing mirror bit of a different angle let's go and uh, get this parked up Apparently we've got to go around here, there's a hill, which there is. And then we need to reverse in there. Reverse in there. No problemo. Excellent, and then we just want to park in the middle of the rear. Brilliant, I think that'll do. Might want to. I think he's going to come over to me, I think. Let's have a look. Okay, so here we are. We uh, reverse back here. A load of rice on, everything's undone now, ready to go. Unstrapped, curtains are open. Gotta admit, it does smell nice here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, four bag of, uh, four bag, four um, pallets of rice. So, uh, happy days. And then here's the other side as well. Ready to go. All of that is rice. Yeah, just wait for them now to take all that off and then we can go from there. There's me, uh, my GoPro that I had set up on the wing, wind wing like that. There we go. It's actually still recording. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's get these off and then we can head to, uh, to Wavermouth.
Right, we are unloaded. Excellent. Build up some air. So yeah, now we've got to uh, go down to Portsmouth, get loaded with Shep pallets. I'm assuming a full load, I don't actually know. And then um, take them down to Portsmouth. And then that's it, we're done then. And well, we then got to go back to the yard, drop the trailer off, and then take the truck to Daff for an inspection. So uh, you probably actually will see all that. Just indicate that that forklift don't know where I'm going. Excellent. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the angle on the uh, the windscreen. Unfortunately, I don't trust it enough to uh, to keep it on full time. Have I taken the right turn? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I got a little bit confusing. Yeah, I don't I don't trust it enough to keep it on there all the time at speed. Uh, however, I have just been and purchased a new mount. Um, that hopefully will do up tighter uh, and also has a quick release option on it as well so I can just literally quick release my GoPros because all, all my GoPros are quick release I then quick release it back on and then um, it should be a lot quicker whereas with, with the mount I've already got is this one here that I'll show you so the mount I've already got I've got to put that, put that on and tighten it up it doesn't actually cover the whole thing and then I've got to unscrew that get the GoPro in screw it back up again it just takes time whereas uh, the other mount I've been and purchased uh, is all quick release and, and covers the whole thing, hopefully, hopefully. Although there's a long long time before it's delivered. It won't be here for another month. <laughs> so, yeah, only cost a tenner as well. Yeah, it left me a lot of room to get out as he just put. I'll uh, take it past some while. Turn off my uh, interior lights. Cheers, mate. Uh, I say no trucks turn right, but that's the way I need to go. I'm not going to the A46. That's literally headed me in the wrong direction. I don't want to go to the A46. I need to go this way. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Right. I think I've got a puncher. I think I've got a puncher. What was that noise? A little bit confused because the tyres seem intact. Nope, something isn't right.
called Darren. Oh right, mate, I got some bad news. I think I've broken down. The truck's making a really weird noise. Uh, I've just left um, Keynes, turned right, and as I got to 20 miles an hour, it sort of made a noise like it had a flat tyre. I've jumped out, there's no flat tyres at all. So I've moved again, and as soon as I go over 20, it's making like a rattle, like a crackling noise. It kind of feels, I don't know, I'm not an expert, it feels like maybe drive shaft or something. Yeah. My broken down. I'm under the truck. <laughs> All looks good. Wow, something's not good. I don't know. I am not a mechanic. Hello. Okay, update. Something's wrong, I don't know what. I need to uh, get someone to call out and come and uh, rescue me, I think. Okay, situation report. Uh, we're still bro broken down. I don't know um, what's happened. It's kind of like whenever I go over 20 miles an hour, uh, there's like a like a rattle or something coming from what appears to be like the drive shaft, crankshaft, prop shaft, something like that. Okay, situation update. This company here, Evesham Vale Growers have agreed to uh, let us come into their yard to get off the road, which is very nice of them. And uh, I think a low loader is coming out to rescue the unit, and uh, I think one of our other trucks are going to come and rescue the trailer. Now I can drive, but I can't reach a certain miles an hour. Um, something starts rattling and breaking away, so we, we don't we don't know what it is. So we. We don't want to drive too fast, that's all. <coughs> right, he wants me to park as tight to the right hand side as possible. Thank you so much, mate. Yeah, you got any problems? My name's Mike. Mike. Transport manager. Mike, transport manager. All right, thank you very much, Mike. Cheers. Thank you, Mike. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we're in here at the moment. Broken down. Uh, I'm going to phone the boss up and just double check he wants me to drop the trailer ready uh, and then sort of pour forward ready for the low loader. I guess. When the low loader comes, they park up in front of me and we'll uh, we'll whack it on. I guess. <laughs>
and we're back in the yard. Um, I realise this has been a short video, so <laughs> I do apologise. Just turn some lights on a sec so you can see me. Yeah, we're back in the yard. We um, we got it put on a low loader, uh, brought back in the yard. So now we're going to look at it, try and find out what's wrong with it. Um, I think, um, what was it? Differential was the, uh, the suggestion floating around at the minute, but unfortunately we just won't know until... Um, well, until someone really knows what they're doing, gets under and has a look. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, I've done 84 kilometres today. <laughs> That's all I've done, which is about two hours drive. <laughs> um, so I've not done an awful lot today. So yeah, um, hopefully we can get this truck back on the road ASAP, uh, fix it over the weekend. Um, I'm sure we will. So yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, try not to break down. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.